Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and today we're going to feature the brand new Silver Star from today's, uh, sorry, this week's Team of the Week. It is none other than um, Robert Andrich or Andrich, whichever way you want to say it. If you're German, you can correct me. Um, yeah, so it, he doesn't look that fantastic, to be honest with you. He's, he's not... He's, he's not really got the pace. So, I'll pull up on screen um, the card in a second. And we'll just sort of go through and have a look at him together. Because this is going to take you three games. It's going to take you three games to, to get him. And you've got to score a few goals and you've got to get the assists, etc. So, the question, the question really is, is... Is this guy going to be worth the time and the effort you're going to put into uh, to achieve him? Because I'm not sure if he if he really is. I don't think he is the best option. Obviously, if you want an inform card in your team, you're obviously going to do him to try and fit him in. So yeah, we're in the squad screen now. And as you can see, I have already completed him. Now, I completed him because I needed someone to get the link to uh, Stoppelkamp and... Uh, what's the other lad called? Adam... Adeyemi. So I needed someone to get that link in there. And I know what you're going to say. You can say, well, you can just put Inform Dressel in there. And that is true. That is absolutely true. And I did actually run that set up for a while. But this card is free. It will only cost you your time. So it's going to be 45 minutes of your time if you can get it all. You know, if you can win all games back to back, it will it'll. it'll It'll cost you 45 minutes at minimum. Obviously, if it'll take you six games to get in, that's going to be twice as long. So you're looking at like 90 minutes. So it could it could take you an hour and a half just non-stop playing FIFA to get this get this card. What you can do, you can just get rid of Dressel. You can sell him on for 30,000 coins because he's just getting max binned. You can list him up and he's just selling for max price. So that's what I did. I replaced him. With Dressel, because it's, it's a free card. It, it freed up some extra funds for me to spend on my main goal team. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see if it is worth your time as well. So, we'll just take out some of these players. I was, I was thinking of actually reviewing um, these two, because these are two inform uh, English lads. And I've not used them so far. Obviously, as you can see, we've, um, we're a big fan of the Silver Lounge and the Silver Stars objectives and the special... Special silver cards. But this is the team I run. I run them in a 4-4-2. Second variation with the with the two CDMs. I find it helps with cutting the passing lanes and defending. If you're not that amazing at defending like me, I'm only a gold three player, so I'm not the best at defending. So, yeah, without further ado, we'll jump into the silver lounge. And, uh, yeah... We're gonna find out what he's about. See if he can uh, see if he can sort of man that midfield and you know anchor it up and make some cracking interceptions and just generally boss midfield. That's what I'm really hoping for here. I'm hoping he was worth the time it took to get him. But yes, boys. Without further ado, let's jump into a game. Just while we're waiting to get into a game, I'll read off some of his stats. So his acceleration is really poor. So his base card stat says he's got 6'6 six, six pace and that's a little bit poor for me for this sort of level if you like. Uh, you'd expect him to be a bit quicker but there's nothing that, uh, that a shadow can't fix. So if you put a shadow chemistry style onto him it takes him up to uh, 76 pace so it gives him 82 acceleration and it gives him 71 sprint speed which isn't that fantastic but if he's just going to sit back deep that should be okay. Now... His dribbling isn't fantastic, but it's good enough for Silver Lounge as a, as a centre mid CDM. It's definitely good enough. Um, his passing's okay. It's probably above average for a silver card. Um, his, phys his physicality is, is absolutely great. He's got 86 jumping, 82 stam, 83 strength, 80 aggression. Um, and obviously, if you've slapped the shadow on him like I have, you get 93 interceptions, 86 head and accuracy, 80 defensive awareness. 91 standing tackle and 95 sliding tackle. So really, he should be great at, at the CDM role. He should be fantastic. So we're going to see how many goals we're going to concede 
in this game. Uh, but the, obviously the plan is we, you know, you hope you don't concede any goals. That's sort of the plan here. That is not what we wanted to do there. I think we're playing in a bit bit of delay. We are playing on the weekend. It is a it is a Saturday, at twenty past two UK time. So the ser the servers are probably going to be quite heavy at this uh, at this time. Good good ball. Trigger on direct. There he goes. He's in. Okay, so. To be honest with you, I'd expect someone, at least even a silver card, to finish from there. But he has only got 60 finishing. I am going to give him a chance at redemption here. Because I feel like any sort of card should be making that, to be honest. Okay. Hamza Chowdhury, low key, is actually a fantastic silver card. He is he is actually a, a great card. He just roams that midfield so well. That was a good pass from Andrik, and we're in. Nice finish from Che Adams. He is so good, by the way, Che Adams. If you didn't do him, you are. We're a bit silly to be honest, because he is fantastic. Ah. I would always say go for the extra pass, but I don't think I don't think that really applied in that uh, that scenario. Then in that situation, there he goes mopping up, mopping up in midfield. He f he feels fairly strong. I think that was just me holding on the ball for too long, which is why we gave up possession. I think I just held on to it for too long. But he feels strong, like he doesn't feel like he gets um, knocked off the ball too easily. That was a good ball. I'm the Chowdhury. What is that? What's that? His his passing is actually quite good. I found his passing to be quite good. Like I'm I'm pointing it at where I want it to go, and it is going there, which isn't something that always happens in FIFA 21. You only have to play weekend league to figure that out. There we go. Great, great, great work, Andrik. What a ball. Stoppelkamp. Ah. Wrong shot selection there. But Robert Andrich is doing some serious mopping up in that midfield. So I am actually triggering these runs with Robert. He is actually on the stay, the stay back. F Jesus Christ. Adam, yeah. Take a bow, lad. Yeah, he is actually set to stay back and uh, cover centre, but... I'm triggering I'm triggering the run for him to get forward just to see um if he's any good in a, in an attacking sense for your team. Um and he seems to be doing really well. Look, here we go. Get him on the ball here. If you can get him on the ball and just like spray it out wide, he's actually quite good at that. Where's Morgan? Where's Morgan is is slept on. Oh, that was a very good interception from his guy there, from his defender. Because I thought that ball was definitely getting through. Here he goes again. Shall we get him his, his goal? Adam, yeah. I mean... Is he out? He's gone. Rage quit. I mean... We were, we were leading that game very comfortably. I mean, Andrik with the 8.9 rating, he was fantastic in that match. I was really impressed with him. I thought that he might get caught out in the midfield because of the pace being a little bit of a problem. But he wasn't. He was well positioned. Um, he did really well. But we'll jump into another game, just test him a bit further. Just you know, Because obviously we've just got a rage quit, so we can't really go off one half of football. Um, so we'll test him further. We'll go into another game of the Silver, silver Lounge. We'll jump into another Silver Lounge game. And, uh, yeah, we'll test him further. But if you want to see his stats on the screen, I mean, I know I reeled them off at the start, but there, there are his stats. Like I say, with, with, the, with the shadow chemistry style, it does fix the pace a little bit. It, it, it infinitely improves his defending. His defending for a silver midfielder is quite good anyway, but obviously it takes him to another level and it makes him an 84 
rated CDM, so it takes him up plus 10 in terms of his overall. And he's got some nice stats. He's got the playmaker and the out, outside the foot shot. So, obviously, it's demonstrated in the, in the first half of that, that first game. The shooting wasn't fantastic. Now, maybe looking at his shooting stats, maybe the key with Robert is to take some uh, some some finesse shots from outside the box because he's got the curve and he's got the power. So we might have to take some finesses and maybe do some outside the foot shots from outside the box. But yeah, so far from what I've seen, um, I'm really impressed. So without further ado, we'll jump into another game. I'm just having a look at some of the uh, the comments on Footbin for uh, the Robert Andrit card and... I think some people have been a little bit harsh, to be quite honest. Um, Marco CR7 says, The worst silver star. Ryan Kent robbed. Average, but will do. Pedri deserved it. I'm not really sure who Pedri is, to be honest. Rigingo did. <clears throat> Come on, Robert. He's defo making subs. Who's he brought on? Waming Wamantuka um don't know who that is. The absolute audacity of the lead. What an assist, that was a cracking ball. Cracking ball into Adam Yemi. He's doing really well so far. I must say he is doing really well. Nothing's really got past him in the midfield. He's made some cracking interceptions already. Um, his passing is actually really good. What the hell is that? Is that Silas Whamming or Romarino? See, if that was Robert on the ball then, he, defin he definitely would have made that pass. Che Adams, easy. Easy. Light work. The absolute mad lad. The silky am boy. <clears throat> Go on, Jeffrey Schlupp. Go on, Jeffers. Go on, Jeffers. Get there, lad. Take him out. <clears throat> Raw sauce, mate. Raw sauce. Let's see what we can do here. Not a bad shot, he tested the keeper, he was shot on target, but you'd be expecting to, uh, to you'd be, what would be doing a bit better there. Oh, what is that now, half time? 2-1? Mm, not a bad result so far, we, we've been doing alright, we've been doing okay. Nothing really much better than that. Um, what we think we will do is we'll change into the 4-1-2 yeah so we'll change into that keep yeah keep Andrick at, at Cam bring on Damford Chowdhury and then we'll bring on Wamantuka for Adam Yeh and then we'll see we'll see if we can get any chances from Cam because like I've mentioned already, he has got the outside foot shot tree and he looks like he's got some okay shooting stats for a silver centre mid. So I want to see if we can get some good chances from the uh, from the cam position to see if he can actually utilise that shooting. Okay. Oh, not a bad effort. Bit tame, but I think ultimately it's going to be it's going to be harder to get him into those sort of like shooting positions outside the foot. Holy crap. Holy Jesus Christ. I was literally about to say it's really hard to get him into the attacking positions. So you're probably better off just playing him as a centre mid or a CDM. But Jesus Christ. All right, well he's proved that he can actually do that then. I wasn't sure if he actually had that in his locker but... He definitely does. Quite a, a decent amount of power somehow. Great save. Ah. <sighs> we weren't going to stop Real Mourinho in this game. This guy, this guy's actually okay. He's alright. No. 
Right. I thought we made subs here. Did we not make subs? Right, get them on. See, he's chugging a little bit now. What's his stamina? HG stamina. To be fair, he has been absolutely all over the pitch, to be fair to him. And then I think we should get Waming Tuka on. But he has been absolutely everywhere. We'll check his heat map at the end of the game. But he could do a job. Like, if you don't have the players available or if you don't have uh, funds available to go and buy your, your, your dressels and uh, and other, like, high-end silver players, you know, he, he, he is an option. He's definitely an option. Has he just proved again? You literally couldn't script this. This is this is amazing. I have actually dropped him back into the midfield. He's not he's not playing Cam anymore. He's playing in his CDM role, and he's just doing bits. That's going to get looked over a lot by a lot of people. Is the fact that they're going to think oh, he's, he's his shooting's not great, but it if he's if he gets the space, he's I think. I think from outside of the outside of the box, uh, there's a very good good chance it is going to go in. He's already, you know, he's he scored two goals in this this game. See now he's just sort of roaming there now, but unless I actually trigger him to go on a run. He's got a hat trick. Now, that's probably a bit lucky, to be honest. But he persevered and he, uh, he managed to get there. But what a performance. I've been really impressed with him. Yeah, I've been really impressed. I would honestly go as far as to say as uh, Jürgen Damm in midfield is pretty, pretty, pretty banjax as well. He's pretty cracked. He's absolutely rapid. Where's Morgan just doing bits? Just doing absolute bits, mate. His, his passing has been absolutely brilliant. Like, look at that for a ball. That could have been a goal. And that all started with Robert Andrick. Passing has been brilliant. I cannot fault the passing. But, yeah, my... um, <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's very obvious what uh, my overall opinion is of... Uh, of of this card, I mean, look at that. Three goals, he's got man of the match. I mean, he obviously, he must have man of the match. Let me just double-check it before I start saying he's, he's man of the match. He's got a 10 out of 10. He scored three goals. Um, you know, how many shots has he had? He's had five out of seven on target. You know, passes completed. Look at that, near-perfect passing accuracy. Absolutely brilliant. We'll just have a quick look at the uh, the highlights here. Um, so let's have a look at this one. This is, I think this is the outside the foot one, wasn't it? That is cracked. The power he gets on that, the, the the power he can generate on that is amazing. First time outside the foot shot, the sweet connection. What a goal! What a, what a hit! What a hit! And then we'll jump on to the second goal. Again, this is just easy. This is just light work. This is just what he, this is what he's about. This is what he's about. Just sort of lingering in the midfield to pick up the pieces, and if he can, just get the shot off. And this is what this is what happens. This is the result of just giving the ball and letting it rip from outside the box. Absolutely banjaxed. Now we did get a little bit lucky here. I mean, I suppose we could put this goal down to him using his strength and aggression to get onto it. Sure, but ultimately it was a lucky goal. But he still had to finish it. He still had to finish it. And he did. So, what are my thoughts? I think he's absolutely worth his time. I think you should really try him. I, don't, I wouldn't just go on to Footbit and look at his stats and then look at him and go, nah, he doesn't look that good. Just because someone's got top comments saying he's a dead silver card. No, he's absolutely usable. He is great. Like you know, like the guy said on Footbin, he's got quite a few uh, upvotes. He's done this, so he's gone this route, which you can absolutely do. You can do that, but 
if you want the better chemistry, you're gonna go Stoppel Camp. If you if you have if you know if, if you did complete that SBC, you would you would go Stoppel Camp. But if you didn't and you missed out and you only got one and two clear, you've still got connections here. So I think it's absolutely worth it just from that point of view, just so you can get the, the connection to um, Stoppel Camp and uh, Wan and Tuka, because otherwise you'd be paying thirty k for Dressel, who I've used and I don't think he's that great. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, slap a like on the video, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, um, just so you're staying updated with the FIFA content that I'm starting to pump out. Um, I'm really enjoying FIFA again. I've I I have this I have like these like sort of plateaued moments with FIFA where like I just peak and then it starts going downhill and the gameplay is just not very good. But I feel like with the Silver Stars it allows you just to have a bit of fun. It's not too serious and you can sort of like improve in the Silver Lounge. I find you can try things out that you wouldn't normally try out in Champs or in Division Rivals because. Obviously, that's the competitive game mode. That's what really matters on your record and in terms of getting rewards. But in Silver Lounge, you can play with these fantastic cards and uh, you can just have a laugh. But yeah, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.